green one? That one looked bigger than it was. All right, so anyways, we got our eggs for today. Trailer is set up, you guys. We're not done with it this week yet. Everybody was inside, and then as soon as they heard me, they all came running out. All my cute little boys. It's almost time to weather them. Uh, the only reason we're waiting is for these little guys, and the longer you wait, the better it is for them. Oh, you ready? <laughs> They're like, oh. both of them are like, let me in. Four days until her due date. I'm so excited. Four days till you have a baby. Four days till you have a baby. I think she's gonna have twins. So at first I was thinking like definitely one, but now I feel like there's gonna be two and Cricket is just smelling her, smelling her. For two days now she's been digging and laying and that can be a sign of labor. But, and so can her just wanting to be there by herself and not moving much, but I don't think that's it. But I think she's just doing that because she's at the end of her pregnancy and we haven't had an udder pop yet. So, although this morning I did think that her udder looked a little bigger. Actually, she's looking a little suspicious. Usually she leaves if I get this close. Hi, sweet girl. So she's not the reason I'm here. I've been watching her on the camera. She just keeps standing up and laying down, but she's been doing that for days. She digs a nice little bed for herself and then she lays down in it. I'm here for her. We separated her baby two days ago and we haven't milked her yet. What we've been doing is letting the babies drink from her twice a day supervised because I haven't had time to milk her and she's gonna be a nightmare to milk. <laughs> she's like, who's gonna be a nightmare, Laura? <laughs> You're such a cute goat. I hope you have really pretty babies. <laughs> but she's looking at her side and she's not getting up. She has four days. She's doing Tuesday, but she could technically she could go anytime. So I guess we better keep it a watch on you, huh? <laughs> I need you to help me get her on the stand. I need you to help me get her on the stand. What are you doing? Uh, Tilly. She's easy. All right, come show me. No, you yeah. do it. No, come on. You guys, I'm actually kind of worried about this girl not worried but what if she's in labor Sophie what? do you notice anything yeah, and she's not getting up when we walk by she never lays down like this and not only does she never lay down like this the other goats are running towards her and she's just pushing them off but not getting up oh, she gets up, Mom. oh her udder oh I don't know. Her udder does not look popped. It could just be that she's tired because she's at the end of her pregnancy, but we're gonna keep a watch on her. All right, grab that one. You Go get some grain. Here's a new problem we just encountered. When I start to milk her, she lays down, like flat on her belly. She's a little bit engorged, so it's hard to get it out. But when I start to milk her, she lays her whole body because she we have her hobbled, so she can't lay down or so she can't kick. And she just she's like I'm holding up her belly with my hand. She just lays all the way on the ground. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday. It is pig time. <laughs> I'm outside watching Posey. <laughs> I used to just let her out and be outside with me like I do with, with Ellie. Ellie just comes outside, wherever I go, she goes. But then it turned into a case of me trying to find Posey. So I learned I just have to watch her the whole time she's outside, make sure that she's safe, make sure she's, make sure I see her at all times. So now I just have designated times that I bring her out. I hate it. I feel like she should be outside all day, running free the whole time I'm outside, because I'm outside all day. And she just can't until she's a little bigger and then she gets locked behind the fences and I know that she'll be safe.
paw, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. out this morning we were supposed to take our friend to a horse show let's see these are Sylvie's boots for everybody who says that Sylvie doesn't get boots she does she fits boots are they big now she've lost she's lost weight since she got them do they do they fit better a little bit she ended up not being able to show it the last second so Sam got the trailer already we are all ready to go we we're so excited to go and support our friend at the show and then and take her to the show uh, because she doesn't have a horse trailer and then she couldn't go but that's okay we're still gonna go we were already gonna go because we're gonna go and support another friend now we would be showing at this show if we didn't take the winter off riding but it was worth it <laughs> I hate being cold and I like to have time to get into show season so show season starts in May at the beginning of the May here and I like to be able to take my time I like to be able to go slow figure things out like I don't like to be rushed so even though we're not showing at this show I'm okay with that we will be showing a, a bunch of stuff this summer especially Sophie um, and then Gabby will probably do a couple of shows with Stormy Boy but it's gonna take a bit for him to get worked up to that so you guys know that I was kind of a city girl until we ended up moving into the country and um, getting our first farm. And I always worried about, like I always have been so paranoid about smelling like a country person. So you care less about what you wear and like you just go outside and you just wear whatever because you have so much to do and it just kind of matters more about being comfortable. So anyways, I'm always really careful about having clean like outside clothes to go into town and to go shopping and all that kind of stuff. So today I noticed everybody walking out of the house looked like a farmer. Well, not everyone, mostly just Sam. And I had to be like, Sam, you can't wear that to a horse show. He literally had on shorts and then tall farm boots. Fall, fall tall I guarantee winter. There's gonna be people there with shorts and boots on. Tall boots, like up to his <laughs> knees and shorts. I guarantee. All right, you find me one and I'll video it, okay? All right. And then what do I get if there's none? You get to be right for a change. <laughs> oh, I want more than that. <laughs> All right, we are here. It is showtime. All right, we got front row seats, you guys. We got here so early. We got such good parking. Just joking. <laughs> people left and <laughs> people left, and then we just moved up so we can sit here, watch, watch the good horse show. We. We all made sandwiches. We always bring our own lunch and then a ton of water. So we are home <laughs> and there are chickens in the wrong part of the property. My plan didn't work. Plan didn't work. I think she's lost. She's like, help me, help me. There's a couple of chickens out here. Oh, down by that tree, there's a couple more chickens. The problem is that they, there's no food out here for them. If they come past the fence, we put all the food on the other side. Oh, there's like five chickens out here <laughs> and they can't get back in. Whew, it's getting cold. Oh my gosh. It's like, just wait, let me show them. It's like we have an actual farm. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? These two couldn't get back because they're fatty. Oh my gosh, what in the world? It is 7 p.m. We are at a horse show the whole day. I didn't film it because it wasn't our horse show, it wasn't our horses. He just walks right beside me all the time. We just wanted, like, we just wanted to enjoy the horse show too. Like, even, oops. Anyway, we saw Kaylee at the show and she's gonna come next week and um, Rosie's babies are born. She's gonna come and visit and she hasn't been here. She's been away at school. So she hasn't even been to our new house. You're bad. You're bad. Bad child. Sophie and I ran down here quick just to see if Rosie's in labor. Her udder definitely looks bigger. Bad boy. Yes, you are a bad boy. You bad drank boy. all the milk. Look at her. She's like, do I need to come in? She likes to come in to get to get Hey, she let me touch milk. her water. Yeah, she's getting really good now. Hey. <gasps> oh, goodness. See? 
They're nicer to you. That's why you shouldn't be in here. <sighs> oh man. So the light in there stall broke. Come on. You know where to go. So we are gone all day till seven o'clock and then Elizabeth's coming to sleep over. So when we got home, we had a lot to do because I don't know about you guys, but when you go out for the whole day, you don't end up cleaning your house or doing all the other things that you're supposed to do. You know where you're supposed to go. Come on, up on the stand. She always goes right up on the stand like a good girl. So Elizabeth's mom and I always meet halfway when we pick Elizabeth up. And what's really weird is that I asked Sophie, like, what time do we have to pick up Elizabeth? And she said, oh, Gabby and I are going to pick her up. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, how does that happen? One minute you're the mom picking everybody up. And then the next minute you're just here and they're living their own lives. It just happens so fast. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what I like to do when I'm milking. I'm milking three goats now, three. So what I actually like to do is I'm not able to read my book, but I can put it on so that it plays for me and it reads it to me, the app reads it to me. And that's what I've been doing the last few times that I um, milk, I just listen to my book. So I'm like getting reading done and it kind of calms them too. Some confidence that she could anchor her own soul against the storm until daybreak, but she feared for Gatel's soul. Wait. Walk me in the morning sun Tell me I'm a lucky one I'm riding on the wave Of an ocean that I could be brave Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know How it used to be Before anyone heard of you and me One hour later and I am done. It takes me an hour to, to milk three goats. Two of them fight me the entire way. In fact, all three fight me. Don't you know that you're beautiful?